Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful lacy pendant with bicons and seed beads. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you will be able to make it by yourself. If you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me anything in the comments, I'll answer to all of you. If you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will be notified when I release new videos for fresh bidding ideas. If you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. If you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now. I will start with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so for this video what I'm using are two colors of 11-0 seed beads and here I use these beautiful bicons. They could be Swarovski or other brand or for example Czech crystals, they are 8 millimeters long and here I use Fireline but you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. I use size 10 beading needle scissors and I use my pliers only to attach my pendant to my chain and you could use any type of chain you want. You could use uh, like uh, this one, a uh, leather chain or a different one and of course I'm using this pendant holder but if you don't have pendant holder you could use regular jump ring. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put about an arm span of thread on my size 10 beading needle and I'll be back. Ok guys, and in my first step I'm going to take four of these beautiful black beads. Ok, I have my four here and I'm going to slide them down almost until the end of my thread. And here what I want to do is make a knot. And I will make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. And then I will make one more knot just to be sure everything is nice and tight and I will continue then. Okay, then in my next step I will go through the following seed bead. Okay, and here guys what I want to take are eight silver beads. Okay, I have my eight here. Double check, okay. Then I will go back through this seed bead again, back in circle through the same one. Okay, and I'm going to pull. Okay, now this is what I have. Then I'm going in my next black bead. Like that. And here guys, what I'm doing is to take seven, this time seven silver seed beads. Okay, double check. And what I do is that I go through this silver one here and through the black one. In this way, I still have eight silver beads, but here this one is shared between my elements, okay? Then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and I'm going to repeat this step. I'm going to take seven silver seed beads. Each element consists of eight, but here I'm adding seven because my elements share one bead. Okay, here going through this silver and through the black one. Okay, then I'm going through the last black one. 
and I will also go through the first silver one. This is from my first silver element that I did. I'm going through it and this time I will take only six seed beads. Why six? This is because I'm using two beads of my first and my last element going through them like that. So I have this one, this one and this six. Okay and I'm pulling. Now I will go through this silver bead and through the following silver okay and in my next step I'm going through two more beads and I'm taking one black bead then I'm going here okay and here I will add one bead you see here I have one two three four beads one two three four beads and this is the middle and I'm going through here Again here I find the middle by counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so this is the middle. I'm going through six beads in this direction, you see. Okay. And here I'm adding the last bead from this row. Okay. Now I have this. Now in my next step I'm going in this black bead here. And I'm going to make something like a cross of four. I'm taking three black beads and by going around in circle through this seed bead I'm making a cross of four also called right angle weave. Okay. Then I will go through the following silver bead in this direction. And in this step I'm taking a silver, a crystal and a silver. This is what I have on my needle. And I will go here one bead before the top. I'm pulling really tight. Okay. I want everything to be nice and tight. Then I'm exiting here at the top. And I'm taking three black seed beads, making again a cross. Okay, pull this one if it's not tight enough. Then go through the following seed bead. Okay, and then again a silver, a black, and a silver. This is what I have. Going here. Pulling. Inside this black one making a cross of four and if you can in one movement go also through the silver here pull it tight take a silver a bicon and a silver and go here through these two beads like that okay then three more
and here I'm adding my last crystal. Here it is, and this is my last one. Okay, now I have this and in my next step I will go through this black one, through the silver and my goal will be to exit out of my crystal here. And as I'm exiting here I will need to add three seed beads and go here through this black one. Then I will take three more and go here. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now this is what I have. Okay, and what I want to do is go here, exit out of this black bead. And here I want to take three silver beads like this. Go back in circle through this black one. Now I have this. Then I'm going through all of those beads here exiting next to my crystal and here I need three silvers one black and three silvers this is what I have seven beads in total three silvers one black three silvers and I'm going here through these three beads and through the following black okay if you can in one movement exit out of the next black one okay and here I need three silvers go through all of the three silvers here in this direction now take three silvers one black three silvers this is what I have on my needle and go through these three silvers and the next black one okay like that then what I need are three silver beads going back through this silver and through the following three Then again, what I need are three silvers, one black and three silvers, okay. This is what I have. And I'm going here through these three silvers and through the following black one. Okay. Now I have this. Again, three silvers. Okay, and then again. Okay, now this is what I have. And I'm going here. Okay. Now guys, I could go one more time around all of my beads here and make a new thread pad, okay? I'm going here like that.
and here I might want to add three more black beads like this and go around in circle through this black one and then go through all of the beads here in this direction go out here making a new smoother thread pad okay okay then take three black ones go back like that in circle and continue this guys and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now I'm here at my last step I'm adding these three black beads if you forgot how I'm doing this just rewind this video and you will see what I'm doing and you will repeat it okay now I'm exiting out of this silver and what I need is a silver, a bicon and a silver and I'm going here through this top bead okay then here I need a silver, a bicon and a silver and I'm going here through this silver bead like that okay then I'm going through the black and through the silver and I need a silver a bicon and a silver going here through the top like that and then a silver a bicon a silver going here in this silver Okay, then in the next silver. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. okay guys now I have this you could go one more time around the edges reinforcing your work and then if you want and then you could go here at the top and make your final touch your final loop of beads where you will attach your pendant holder okay I'm here and now what I need are five silver seed beads okay I have my five here and I'm going back in circle through this black bead now I have a circle of six in total because I'm going through the black one okay and now what I do is that I reinforce this work here I'm going around several times then what I do is go here inside my pendant and find the place to make a knot okay let's say I'll make it here at the edge okay I'm making a loop going once going second time through the loop I've made I'm pulling and I could repeat this procedure 
making a loop, going once, going second time. Then what I do is go through my next seed bead and I cut my thread. Never cut next to a knot, always go through the next seed bead and then cut your thread, okay? And now here I will show you in my next step how to attach your pendant holder. Okay guys, and now it's time to put my pendant holder. Okay, you could put a regular jump ring or this type of pendant holder. Okay, you should just open this one up, put it on your chain. Well, I'll put it on my chain. Then I will put it here. And what I do is that I squeeze here like that with my pliers, squeeze it. And now I have my pendant put here, okay? Okay guys, and now my beaded lacy pendant is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials a link to my store and a link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me